Ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, dear friends, very good afternoon and warm greetings from Vienna, Austria. As many of you already know, my name is Luca Castellani and I work in the Ancestral Secretariat. Uh, I very much regret not being able to be with you today as it was originally planned. But I'm very grateful to have a few minutes of your attention. As you know, Paraguay is at the forefront of commercial law reform and it's probably the country that has adopted the most ancestral texts in Central and Latin America. Uh, you will discuss in these days about the United Nations Convention on Contracts for the International Sale of Goods, our beloved CISG. Let's not forget Paraguay has adopted also the Limitation Convention, a very important text but sometimes neglected. And of course uh, other important ancestral treaties like the Humboldt Rules or the Convention on the Recognition and Enforcement of Foreign Arbitral Awards. Paraguay has also adopted several ancestral model laws such as uh, the model law on international commercial arbitration, the model law on electronic commerce, and the model law on electronic signatures. But I would like to stress this is an ongoing engagement. Most recently, Paraguay has adopted it. It was the first country in Latin America, the United Nations Convention on the Use of Electronic Communications in International Contracts. It is directly relevant for the application of the CSG. And just a few weeks ago, Paraguay signed the Singapore Mediation Convention. So we have to acknowledge and praise the commitment of Paraguay, of its government, of its parliament, in uh, passing this important legislation coming from Ancetral and other legislation in the field originating from our sources. Um, as you know, uh, there is a need, of course, for institutional support, but there are also individuals behind uh, these uh, choices. Um, please allow me, on a personal note, to remember the very hard work done first by Ernesto Velasquez and uh, more recently by Jose Moreno. Uh, these are the individuals who, in the end, uh, make a difference and allow us to, things to happen. So, once a, a country has adopted so many pieces of uniform legislation, it needs the tools to implement them, to promote their use and very uniform application. That's why the conference you are holding today and tomorrow is so important and so timely, because it will uh, provide the opportunity to discuss the application of the CSG and of related texts. But I can say I see already very promising signs coming from Paraguay. For instance, we are getting uh, more and more cases to be reported in our cloud system, the case law on ancestral texts. Now, if I have to suggest with whom Paraguay could start a discussion on the interpretation and application of the CSG, I would for sure suggest the name of the CSG Advisory Council, definitely the leading international non-governmental organization for the promotion of the use and the uniform interpretation of the CSG and of related texts. You know, the CSG Advisory Council has also observed status with ANCITRAL, with UNIDRA, it's been active for decades now in preparing not only the famous opinions, which are quite influential and shed light on important aspects of uniform contract law, but also in promoting these events that do help a lot in raising awareness and multiply the involvement of practitioners and also of judges 
in uniform law application. You probably want to hear what's new in Vienna, what's new at Ancitro. Well, I'm very happy to share good news with you, although very briefly. We are getting ready to celebrate next year, the 40th anniversary of the adoption of the CSG. Uh, this is a major exercise with two goals. First, as some of you already know, we have a dream. We want to see 100 state parties adopting the CSG. We are close, we are already at 91. More countries are joining in. We would like to make a, an effort to get to that goal. So, if any of you who is in the conference room now and would like to suggest ways and means to achieve that goal, please get in touch with us and we'll be more than delighted. The other main goal of uh, the celebrations that will take place in the year 2020 is to promote exactly the use and the uniform interpretation of the CSG and of the related texts. Um, in that respect, there are two very important elements. Uh, one is the discussion that took place at the Commission session held now in Vienna in July about revamping the cloud system. Cloud is moving from being a case reporting system to being a community of uh, entities and individuals engaged in uniform law. And therefore, it is very important uh, to raise awareness of uh, this change and to start thinking of how to contribute to cloud. Of course, the CSG Advisory Council will find an excellent manner to partner uh, with the Ancestral Secretary. But I encourage also Paraguay and all uh, the Paraguayan institutions and also the regional institutions to start thinking about it, to start thinking how they can help us in being more present and more active in a part of the world that is critical, but which is unfortunately far away from Vienna and where we have very few opportunities to interact. The other point is we are working hard together with the, the Hague Conference on Private International Law and UNIDRA on the preparation of a guidance document that is called uh, the Guide on International Commercial Contracts with a focus on sales. This guidance document uh, will give information on how to identify and select the uniform law texts that are most appropriate for a transaction. Um, there are many of them now. Some of them uh, are more uh, focusing on private international law, others are more on substantive law matters. Um, some are a bit outdated, others are newer but are not so well known. Uh, we thought it was important to provide a panorama of all of these uh, texts. Uh, some of the people at the conference today are involved in the preparation of this guide. We do hope the guide will sure the guide will be ready for 2020 and I would like to stress that this guide will complement the important guide that uh, the Organization of American States uh, just uh, prepared also on uh, international commercial contracts and the law applicable to them. So we have a lot going on uh, at Ancitro. I very much look forward uh, to engaging every and each of you in the future. I am totally sure that the conference uh, is going to be a great success. I look forward to the reports and please accept my apologies for not being there and my heartfelt wishes, not only uh, of fruitful work for the next two days, but of continuing the great cooperation with Paraguay and with the CSG Advisory Council. Thank you very much.